For a long time, people were plagued by illnesses such as muscular dystrophy and sickle cell anemia. At best, symptoms could be managed but never suppressed or cured. However, thanks to Dr. Karana's contribution to cracking the genetic code, medical barriers were broken and people with diseases such as sickle cell anemia and muscular dystrophy were able to live longer and more comfortable lives. Many genetic diseases cannot be cured, but there are many treatments in place to help cope with the disorder, which is where the genetic code comes into play. Doctors need to be able to identify the genetic code to find treatments for such genetic diseases. The genetic code in the DNA determines the formation of RNA, which further leads to the formation of various proteins. DNA is made up of various combinations of nucleotides. These nucleotides are presented in triplets known as codons. Each codon serves as an alphabet, and particular codons serve as full stops. Different sets of these codons will form different strands of RNA. RNA leads to the formation of various proteins, which ultimately decides the cell structure. Abnormal genetic code will lead to a defective cell structure, hence causing the disease and its symptoms. Before the discovery of the genetic code, it was common belief that somehow DNA passed on its information to cells, but no one knew how. Dr. Karana spent years discovering the codons and how they spell the genetic code. Due to his discovery, we are not only able to treat many genetic diseases, but we are on the verge of curing many. Genetic code is made up of four letters, A, C, T, and G. Each of these letters stand for a particular nucleotide. And in very simplistic terms, genetic code is really how the information on the DNA is translated or changed into proteins. The discovery of genetic code really has been quintessential in uh, for modern medicine and modern genetics. I practice as a neurogeneticist, which really means that I take care of patients who have neurologic disorders, but because of a genetic mutation. Now, we as human beings have about 20,000 genes in each cell of our body. There can be a mutation or a change in the genetic code of those 25,000 genes, and that can result in a clinical disorder or a disease. And these patients um, are seen in my clinic or the neurogenetics clinic. So without the discovery of the genetic code, we would not have been able to discover these rare disorders or rare genetic disorders and um, provide these patients with treatment. The genetic code, again, has been um, the key not only in discoveries of these uncommon disorders, but also uh, in modern medicine, there, there, uh, there's gene therapy, there are um, modern trials going on. And so I think really it all started with these uh, discovery of the four letters, A, C, T, and G. To achieve this discovery, it was not an easy task for him. Not only did he spend relentless days, nights and years on this project, his whole life has been nothing less than an inspiration. Dr. Karana laid the foundation for a whole new science today, known as medical genetics. Har Gobind Karana was born in 1922 into a modest family in Raipur, a village in undivided India. His early schooling was under a tree. This is where the village held their school. He then attended Punjab University, where he obtained his Master's of Science degree with the help of scholarships. Upon graduation, Karana was awarded a Government of India Fellowship, which gave him the opportunity to study in England at Liverpool University, where he completed his doctorate, which was completed in a record three years. Following his time at Liverpool, he was accepted into Cambridge University to study proteins and nucleic acids from 1950 to 1952. Afterward, he accepted a position at the University of British Columbia to work in the organic chemistry department. In 1955, Corona artificially synthesized nucleotides, which are the building block of DNA. In 1961, Corona moved to the University of Wisconsin, where he was a professor of biochemistry and a co-director for the Institute of Enzyme Research. He established fundamental techniques of nucleotide chemistry in hopes of developing purely chemical methods to synthesize long chains of nucleotides. Corona later accepted the position at Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1970. During his career, he has been either the author or co-author of 500 different publications. 
In the early 1960s, Marshall Nirenberg, who shared the Nobel Prize with Hargov and Karana, discovered that the genetic code was broken up into codons, groups of three nucleotides, whose sequence coded for a specific amino acid. Dr. Karana brought his expertise from chemistry into molecular biology, where he worked day and night in efforts to synthesize every codon. His chemistry-based approach worked brilliantly and led to his description of several new codons. For his discoveries in 1968, he shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with Dr. Nirenberg and Dr. Hawley. Dr. Karana was the first Indian Asian to win a Nobel Prize in that category. He was also the first person to synthesize ATP and other relevant molecules. Karana described the entire process of synthesizing tRNA in detail and was a trailblazer in multiple different scientific disciplines, including chemical and structural biology. He was also a prolific teacher who mentored nearly 250 researchers. It would be no exaggeration to say that he profoundly paved the way we understand the molecular world and inspired generations of brilliant minds. In today's world, we have many applications for Dr. Karana's work, with some of the most popular being genetic engineering and modification. There are also genetic scissors that can cut chains of codons and replace them with different sets of codons to eliminate defects, causing the symptoms of the genetic diseases. I would like to quote the preface of a book, Selected Papers of H. Gobind Karana, written by Dr. Karana himself. Few endeavors in science are modest. Even some of the seemingly more mundane and straightforward questions require a diligent, methodical, and bullheaded approach to truly reach a satisfying answer. Dr. Karana was a modest but significant scientist whose work forever changed science and the world at large.